Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at this little uh, two-channel 60 megahertz arbitrary waveform generator from Unity. It's the UTG962E. Okay, here's a look at it on the uh, Banggood website. Now the model we looked at is the 962, which is the 60 megahertz unit, which sells for $125 US. They also have a 30 megahertz unit which is only a hundred bucks. So yeah, you can get whichever one you want. That's not too bad. Well, other things, there are some uh, specifications you can see. You can see a uh, 4.3 inch LCD, which is pretty cool. And an output range, 30 megahertz, 60 megahertz, one microhertz. High actually, it has a six, six bit. So it's not quite eight bit, but a uh, six bit will do you pretty good. And the counter range is from hundred millihertz to hundred megahertz, which is very nice. You can see the sampling rate is 200 uh, mega samples per second with a vertical resolution of 14 bit, which is actually better than most uh, oscilloscopes we're using these days. Types of waveforms available there. And uh, there's your sweep modes. It doesn't include your uh, modulation modes, which of course have the AM, PM, FM, and frequency shift keying. So that's all very nice. And you can see accuracy here within 90 days of 50 parts per million within a year to 100 parts per million which is you know very nice you're not paying a thousand dollars for this you're paying a hundred dollars for this so that's what you get uh, resolution is one millivolt and impedance is uh, 50 ohms or high Z uh, whichever way you want to set it all very nice so there you have it and it's a nice little device but it is small if we take a look here I mean, there's a full-size benchtop oscilloscope, and there's that little guy right next to it. So you can see, it's pretty tiny. So is tiny good or is tiny bad? I I, I like it. I mean, you I mean it's not so small that it's hard to use, but it is small enough that it doesn't take up a lot of room on your bench or on a shelf. And like I said, it's two-channel, uh, 60 megahertz. That that is fantastic. You can see right now I'm running a, a 10 megahertz sine wave here. We hit our wave button. You can see our different ones. We have sine. We have square wave. Jeez. We can do a pulse. Oh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> now I got some modulation going there. One second. There we go. I shut that off. So we have sine, square, pulse, uh, ramp, arbitrary. We have plain white noise, and we have DC. So it doesn't have, you know, 10,000 different waveforms, but it's got most of the time kinds of waveforms that you're going to need. It has a uh, nice encoder here, and then you can change which digit that you want to change with these buttons. Here at 20 megahertz. And we can take it up to 60 megahertz. And you can see right there. Thing works great. Uh, other settings we have here, of course, amplitude. And we can also set it in RMS and peak to peak. So that that's pretty nice. We have an offset setting. And you can set the low end. We also have our phase setting. And, of course, it's two channels. Now, what's really nice here is if you come into mode, we have these modulations. We have AM. We have PM. FM. And if you're a radio guy, a ham radio, we have FSK, which is Frequency Shift Keying, and uh, that's pretty impressive. If we take a look here at our connections, and I have the lights off here so we can see better. You can see we have our sync and Frequency Shift Keying port on top. We have channels 1 and 2, and they are 50 ohm output. Now over here on the other side, we have our power input, 
which you can see is 5 volt 2 amp and it comes with the uh, the uh, wall wart it also has a USB port and there is the power on off switch it's very nicely made has nice little rubber non-slip feet on it comes with a BNC to BNC and a BNC to alligator clip so you can use it for pretty much whatever you want now it also has a uh, frequency counter system in here so you can do frequency period and duty and some other settings that you can get into your phase sync uh, language beep number format whether you know you want to do commas or, or periods however you want to do it so this is a nice little unit uh, it retails for about $125 from Banggood and I would like to say that Banggood did provide this for us free of charge for our consideration so thank you very much to the fine folks at Banggood I'll put a link down below where you can uh, get one of these if you're interested so I hope you guys enjoyed this short little uh, video showcasing the unity utg 962e function arbitrary waveform generator if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace